Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla insurance data has driven changes to vehicle design, says Elon Musk. Tesla reiterates Cybertruck release with hardware for Tesla Cybertruck to enter limited production this summer. And Tesla finally gets buttons and physical inputs thanks to a new smart accessory. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla insurance data is proving very valuable for the electric vehicle maker, so much so that some changes to the company's vehicles have been implemented because of it. During the recently held fourth quarter and full-year earnings call, Tesla investors asked CFO Zachary Kirkhorn when Tesla insurance would become big enough to warrant details in the company's financials. Kirkhorn noted that it's probably going to take some time before Tesla insurance grows to the point where it needs disclosures, but even in its current state, it has already been very useful. Following Kirkhorn's comments, CEO Elon Musk highlighted that there are actually some important side benefits that Tesla insurance offers to the company. While Tesla insurance allows the EV maker to offer insurance services for its vehicles at a competitive and affordable cost, it also provides a very useful feedback loop for the company's efforts to minimize the cost of repair for its vehicles. It is also giving us a good feedback loop into minimizing the cost of repair of Teslas for all Teslas worldwide, because we obviously want to minimize the cost of repairing a Tesla if it's in a collision. And previously, we didn't actually have good insight into that because the other insurance companies would cover the cost. And actually, the cost in some cases were unreasonably high, Musk said. Tesla insurance data has been so useful for the company that Musk revealed that some changes to the design and software of its vehicles were driven by data from the program. Tesla insurance also provided the company with valuable insights on how it could improve its parts and service, which is arguably a pain point among owners over the years. So we've actually adjusted the design of the car and made changes in the software of the car to minimize the cost of repair. So it's giving us this really good feedback before, again reducing cost. Most accidents are actually small. They're like a broken fender or scratched side of the car or something like the vast majority of accidents, Musk said. But we're actually solving how to get somebody's car repaired very quickly and efficiently. It's remarkable how small changes in the design of the bumper and improving the logistics of spare parts or providing spare parts needed for collision repair have an enormous effect on the repair cost. So, this has actually a very significant effect on the total cost of ownership and customer happiness," Musk added. Moving to the next update, Tesla reiterates Cybertruck release with hardware 4. The Tesla Cybertruck is indeed being released with the company's hardware 4 computer, CEO Elon Musk confirmed during the Q4 and FY 2022 earnings call. During 2021's AI Day event, Elon Musk stated that Tesla is constantly improving its vehicle's systems, so there will most definitely be a hardware 4 computer that will succeed hardware 3. Tesla has not released details of hardware 4, though estimates point to the computer having about three times the computing power of hardware 3, thereby making features such as autopilot and full self-driving even safer. Musk noted then, that the new computer should be introduced, maybe in about a year or so. This estimate proved inaccurate. Among the questions asked by investors during Tesla's Q4 and FY 2022 earnings call was if the Cybertruck would still be released with hardware 4. Tesla had already noted in the past that the Cybertruck would not be reliant on the 4680 ramp, so it would not be too surprising if the company rolled out the initial units of the all-electric pickup truck with hardware 3, at least to start. But as per Elon Musk, this would not be the case, since Cybertruck would have hardware 4. He clarified, however, that the upcoming vehicle would only be in initial production this year, so expectations about its contribution to Tesla's bottom line should be tempered. Cybertruck will have hardware 4. And to be clear, for 2023, Cybertruck will not be a significant contributor to the bottom line, but it will be into next year. It's an incredible product. I can't wait to drive it personally, and it will be the car that I drive every day. 
It's just one of those products that only comes along once in a while, and it's really special," Musk said. Moving to the next update, Tesla Cybertruck to enter limited production this summer. Tesla Cybertruck limited production is set to begin this summer, CEO Elon Musk said, during the company's Q4 2022 earnings call recently. During Tesla's Q4 and full-year 2022 earnings call, Musk and company were asked whether the all-electric Cybertruck was still slated for production by early 2023. Musk responded, we do expect production to start sometime this summer, but I always kind of downplay the start of production, because the start of production is always very slow. Tesla also stated in its shareholder deck for the call that Cybertruck production remains on track to begin later this year. Musk noted that the start of a vehicle's production is relatively unimportant because a manufacturing ramp increases volume over time. The start is always slow, and as a company refines its manufacturing processes for the vehicle, things begin to pick up over time. Volume production is what matters, as this is where Tesla will begin to make a serious dent in the 1.5 million vehicle orders it has received for the Cybertruck since its unveiling in 2019. Musk noted that volume production would begin in 2024, as previous expectations had it slated for late 2023. Tesla began the installation of the equipment that will be used in the production of the Cybertruck, such as the castings and general assembly body shops, but the ramp will come in 2024. In January, drone flyovers over Tesla's Gigafactory Texas revealed that the IDRA's 9,000-ton Giga Press, which will be used for the body of the Cybertruck, was quickly being assembled. IDRA also supplies Tesla's 6,000 Giga Press machines, used to form the Model Y's front and rear underbody castings. Just recently, casting molds for the Cybertrucks evidently arrived at Gigafactory Texas. A bill of lading showed that the molds arrived in the US on January 16 and were picked up two days later and delivered to the facility. All of the sightings of Cybertruck casting equipment, along with the arrival of castings, point in the direction of the Cybertruck nearing production. However, it seems that based on Musk's estimates during the Q4 earnings call, limited production will start this summer. Moving to the last update, Tesla finally gets buttons and physical inputs, thanks to new smart accessory. Tesla, which is known for its touchscreen-based user interface, is finally getting some buttons and physical inputs, thanks to a new smart accessory. Love or hate Tesla, it's hard to argue that it doesn't have the best user interface in the auto industry. It's miles ahead of other automakers as such, most of them are now offloading most of the experience to Apple and Android because of it. However, if there's a main complaint about Tesla's in-car user interface, it's the lack of physical input. Literally, everything goes through touchscreens or voice commands, aside from a few buttons and scrolls on the steering wheel. While many owners don't mind, it has been a recurring complaint for people who prefer physical buttons and knobs, especially for things like volume and climate controls. Now you can add physical inputs to your Tesla, thanks to a new product being crowd-funded on Indiegogo. It's a neat little accessory called Control Bar, and it sticks to the bottom of the Model 3 and Y's center display. The knobs can be used to change the temperature, and the four center buttons can be programmed to do a bunch of different things. What's neat about the product is that it is easy to install, and it doesn't require any hardwiring to Tesla's systems. Instead, all you have to do is plug it into a USB port to power it, and the controls affect Tesla's settings through the Tesla API, meaning that you can have the buttons do anything that can be done through the Tesla app, button configuration can be done through the control bar app. The device also features LED lighting to create some interior ambience. The company is also trying to bring some more advanced features like speed trap warnings. The company is even planning to have over-the-air update capability for releasing additional features in the future. As with any crowdfunding product, it comes with a certain amount of risk. The control bar starts at 199 euros, which is approximately $220 for the first 75 units, and then the price gradually increases. The company plans to start deliveries in the summer. That's it for now. 
So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.